Welcome to another edition of Reckless Eating Shorts, aka We Shorts. Uh, Chuck Rowland here with Matt Zion. And today we are trying Fulton's Harvest Apple Pie Cream Liqueur. Mm -hmm. Liquor. Liquor. Yeah, it's liquor. It's a liquor. There's so many people would be so mad. <laughs> it's liqueur. It's a liqueur. Do you think this will be good? I don't like apple pie. I like apple pie. I, I like the Dutch apple pie. I don't like yappa pie. It's a <laughs> match, brother. Yeah, it's 12.5% though. That's pretty impressive. So I, I'm, I'm down with that at least. This would be similar as putting like Bailey's in your drink. All right. Like kidnapping NXT superstar so you like Bailey and putting her in your drink. She's like, no, oh. I just want to hug you. <laughs> Read the back for me while I eat more cheeses. <laughs> An enticing blend of apple, caramel, cinnamon, and brown sugar combined for a smooth, creamy liqueur that is reminiscent of homemade apple pie. Best served chilled or on the rocks. And yeah, we're not doing it either of those It is things. neither. We're doing neither of those <laughs> It is room temperature. What kind of review channel do you have? <laughs> can follow the instructions. <laughs> Four year old can follow the instructions. <laughs> it's horrible. I keep watching you every day though, even though I'm so pissed off about how terrible you are. Gotta see what horrible things you do next. I don't have a life. What's worse, the guy that's complaining about the people or the people? Yeah, the guy complaining about the people's work. <laughs> Ooh, smells nice and apple-y. Oh, what is that? It smells like chemical apples, though. It doesn't smell like apple pie. It's apple... Chem chemical apples are good, but it's something. <laughs> it smells like brown. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like beige. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like a color. <laughs> it's kind of like a brown marker, though. That's what I'm getting out of it. That kind of markery. No, brown marker. Brown marker. Yeah, thank God. You're right. You're with me. Yeah. Okay, well... Yeah, okay, this is a bit of... A bit of sh Smell to it. Let's try it. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Wow, that's got a kick. Yeah, it does. And it's that good. Is strong. I mean, imagine if this was chilled. It'd be great. Imagine if we did it the right way. Imagine <laughs> having an apple white Russian, an <laughs> apple Russian. Yeah, what would you mix this with? Like, what would you make out of this? Yeah. Because you, you do milk, which is obvious, because yeah. that would be like Bailey's, the same thing. But and if you do, do that do? with vodka, that's the white Russian. Yeah. I think I've had a white Russian one time, and I couldn't appreciate it because it was like way back in the day. Mm -hmm. well, it was one of my old jobs. They had like a work party, and so I didn't really understand it. Or I, I love white Russian. I don't like vodka, but yeah, I like vodka when it's I don't like vodka, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Like either a Bailey's or a liqueur <clears> and, uh, I'm sorry, liquor. <laughs> Take, that. Take that. Be angry. Uh, <laughs> also, like cranberry. Like cranberry juice is a good mix with vodka. That's about it. Regular. Oh my god! Shots oh, yeah. of vodka are the worst. Yeah, it's like straight up it's it's rubbing thing, alcohol. It's a good thing I have some for us to do later today. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I'll, uh, you, get your thoughts. Get, 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 um, get, put, put your thoughts in them. Put your thoughts inside of them right now. Put it in the section. Okay. On its own, because we didn't do it right and it's warm. It's probably Pretty not good. as. It's it's still good, but it's not as high as I would. Give it. I have to do it now, not like if we do. No, it right, right now, bro. Right now. Uh, right now, it's it, it's still a four. It's still good. Mm -hmm. I think chilled would be like a five. That's some cold apple pie going down your throat. Don't like apple pie, but I do like this. I would give it a low four. The reason oh, it's a low four, though, not a regular four, it has it's it's a chemical taste. Like this is this is some scientist yeah. dude. It has right, to you know. go, it, it's it has to go with something. He's yeah, he's trying to figure out how do I put apple pie in a liqueur and like this is the chemical compounds I use. Yeah. Like, you can tell it's fake. It's imitation all the way. Yeah, yeah. But it's still really solid and uh, they only have this out during Christmas time, but liqueurs thank god last forever. It's the only milk byproduct that lasts for years and years and years. Yeah. You get the yeah. aftertaste of Christmas too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. like boring cuz once you get past the age of, I'd say once you pass 18, mm -hmm. Christmas starts getting really boring yeah. really quick. Because you're an adult. Because you, you get a job. <laughs> yeah. You get a job, you can buy whatever the f you want, you don't care anymore. Yeah. And then once you get kids, which I currently don't, but is, did once you had a child, did Christmas become more exciting again or it still suck? It still sucks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's good for him. Good, all right, well you don't live through your child then, so <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is. I still like seeing him happy. <laughs> Fulton's Harvest Apple Pie Cream Liqueur. Matt Zion for Chuck Rollins. But see, here's, here's the thing he's still young, 
But once he gets older, oh my god, the toys are gonna get so much more expensive. Yeah, they will. Yeah. I mean, they're like expensive now. But he, I had the, I had a kind of like a primitive childhood compared to now. This is a technology era. Well, yeah, you were a child like back when rocks and sticks were the main gift for Christmas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'd be lucky if you had, you know, a pile of sand to pay for that. You'd be lucky not to be eaten by wolves out in the wilderness back in your day. <laughs> like when you moved to California, it was a desert. Like scorpions would eat you. Yeah. Then we thought it was like, no. You get your asses back to Arizona. Have you ever wondered, we live in a desert, technically. Mm -hmm. Even though it doesn't look like it. California is a desert, they converted it over. Where the f are the scorpions? They're all in Arizona. Yeah, but we're in a desert. Scorpions love the desert. I'm sure there's still scorpions. Scorpions love the desert as much as I love desert. I think Hesperia might have some. You ruined my comment. <laughs> Did, ruined? You hear? Did you hear what I said? No, I didn't. I said, you're gonna laugh. I said, scorpions love the desert as, lo as much as I love dessert.
Reckless eating. Reckless eating.